Hi, hello, and welcome or welcome back to the Strategic Magic Podcast. I'm your host, Blue, and I am a business astrologer for online service providers, helping you to use astrology to start, grow, and scale your business. As always, I'm super excited to be here with another episode for you. And today we are going to be talking about something that is so important and so prevalent in the online space, dealing with business burnout. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about my experience with business burnout, specifically how it became my astrology business and how you can align your online business after burnout using astrology. Let's get into it. So if you've been in the online business space, doesn't even matter how long, you've probably encountered the topic of burnout and subcapacity. Or if you've, you know, been around the block for a while, you've experienced burnout yourself. And let me tell you, it's not fun at all. The thing with business burnout is that at the root of it, it talks about misalignment. It speaks to there being a mismatch between what you are investing your energy into and what you are receiving from it. And so when we're able to address burnout in that way, it's actually a lot easier to utilize that energy to refocus, to come back to what actually matters for us, what we value, and to use that to come back home to ourselves, come back to what actually matters, and ultimately what you want your business to look like. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much cash flow or clients you have if your business is not aligned to who you are and what your strengths are and what the specific way that you are meant to support others. And as a business astrologer for online service providers, that's exactly what I help you to do. I help you to create a business model that leverages your astrological chart so that your business can thrive based on your unique energy and strengths, not just what everyone else is doing in your field. So let me back up actually and share a bit more on my journey with burnout. I'm surprised that I haven't dedicated an episode about this yet, but here we go. So if you're newer to my world, right, you probably don't know this, but I've actually run two online businesses prior to my astrology business. So I've essentially worked in the online space for my entire career. I actually got started while I was still in undergrad. So during undergrad, I studied literature and at the time, I knew that I didn't want to go the traditional route. Most of my classmates in my program, they were just looking to either start their master's or advanced degree programs, continuing their literature studies or going into publishing. And I really wasn't thrilled about either of those options. I really wanted to continue to write and to be in the space of using my skills with communication, but I wanted to do it in a more modern way. So at the time, I was actually fortunate enough to have a mentor in my program, and she really, really helped me. Ironically enough, at the same time that I graduated and started my freelance writing business, she also pivoted out of academia and she started her own product-based business. But anyway, in my program, I took an internship with her where it was specifically for literature students to learn digital marketing skills and how to translate what we are trained to do within our program into assisting with digital marketing. Super valuable. And at the time, there really wasn't anybody else that was doing that. But that internship really opened my eyes to the possibilities of not only remaining adaptable and flexible, but to also look outside of the shoulds of what is happening within a particular field and going beyond that in order to create your own version of sustainable success. So all of that really ultimately led to me looking to how I could work for myself, how I can continue to write, continue to work with companies that I truly cared about and help them to share stories and to get their message out into the world. And that's what led me to freelance writing. I started freelance writing while I was still in school. So by the time that I graduated, I had a pretty good portfolio. I had, you know, the basics to go out there and start landing 
core clients. And I did. And I did that business for quite a few years until I made a pivot into sex education. So with that, I began writing more about sex and culture. And that ultimately led to me wanting to learn about how to teach and educate folks about sex education, which then led me to my certification program. Took that program because I wanted specifically to get trained in working directly with clients and directly with people one on one and in group settings. And in that program, it was so interesting because at the time, there really wasn't anyone talking about the business aspect of sex education. It was very much based around how do we just get the information out there and not necessarily about how to create sustainability in the business model. So within the certification program, we had essentially like coaching sessions. They weren't called that, but we had coaching sessions with my trainer and with the um, folks in the program. And in these group calls, you know, of course, I would ask questions about being able to monetize, being able to translate what it is that we're learning into paid opportunities. And I noticed every time that I asked the question, people would lean in a bit more. They would get their notebooks out because they knew that like gems were going to be dropped. And also the question that I asked was secretly the question that they wanted answered. But we're just feeling like for some reason, I can't ask that. But me being me, I asked it anyway. And so I took that and kind of ran. I started talking with other sex educators about their business models and like how they wanted to structure their business. And lo and behold, this was a big need that was being unaddressed. So I took that as confirmation that this is something to really look into. So I launched first a digital product, launched an ebook on my journey with sex education, how I got certified, what the options are for folks that are interested in getting into the field. That digital product spanned into other ebooks, workshops, one-on-one coaching and group programs. So essentially within about 18 or 19 months, I had a six-figure business almost by accident. And it was amazing because I was able to take not just the skills that I was learning from my certification program, but also in my time as a freelance writer and use that to create my coaching business for sex educators. However, I looking back, the biggest issue that I encountered when it came to running that business and creating it sustainably is that I just TLDR, I just hit a wall. It grew so fast and I really wasn't prepared for the amount of growth and scale. And also I didn't really think long term about how to transition that business and to have it remain something that I wanted to continue even as I essentially stopped being an active sex educator. And so I got to a point where I had to make the decision to close that business down. There were also things in my personal life that were happening at this time as well that deeply impacted that. And all of this together led to my business burnout. So I had to make the difficult decision of closing my business, shutting everything down, retiring all of my offers. I had moved across the country. Um, And I moved back home and I was just not in a great place mentally, emotionally, like it just wasn't good. I was very depressed. I was so just like frustrated with the state of my life and where I was and just so angry at being there, especially after experiencing the success that I had. It felt not just humbling, but really unfair to experience that. I didn't know it at the time, but that was the space that would create the foundation of my astrology business that I know of it today. The core thing that I contribute to this is the fact that I knew and I was aware the entire time that I'm not starting from ground zero. A big challenge that I had once I had a little bit more stability in my life, I got a part-time job in retail, I hated it, but I knew that I needed something to be able to sustain myself, get my needs met, to get back on my feet and feel like a person again, right? Before I could really start to think about any kind of extra. So once I had that in place, 
I looked at and assessed what what I had. I had the skill sets from my previous two businesses. So I knew I wasn't starting from a place of wondering, how do I start a business? Like, what is marketing? What are offers? What is lead generation? I know how to do all of that. And I've done it twice. Two different fields, two different businesses. But then also the awareness of the stage that I was in, having to be very resourceful, very scrappy, because to be completely honest, I did not have the money to invest in a coach, even a mentorship or a digital product at that time. I had very little extra financial resources to make those investments. But what did I have? My own resourcefulness. And I had my birth chart. So I went back and I study my charts. I remember I would literally be in the break rooms. I would be, you know, all my days off. I would be self-studying using the resources that I had available from podcasts and YouTube University and my own notes that I had made from my charts, from previous readings, from all of the resources that I had available previously and had compiled and just saved up. I would self-study and I found that Much to my surprise, everything that I was looking for, the confirmation that I was as powerful as I believed myself to be, the fact that I am destined to have a life that I feel enthralled by, and the fact that I have the resourcefulness to make it happen, specifically using the vehicle of creating my own online business, all of that was reflected back into my chart. So I had this major moment of, oh shit. This is actually happening. This is like, this is it. That sense of recognizing the personal empowerment that is already inside of me being reflected in my birth chart, there is no other feeling seeing that. It gave me even more confidence to be able to push through, to put myself out there, to fully claim being a business astrologer, to begin offering readings and to just start from where I was. And that's the biggest gift I think that my personal experience with burnout has given me. The understanding that my coaching business, it was great while it was here, but it was also heavy and depersonalized. I was creating a business that just looked like what everybody else was doing. It didn't have my essence fully in it. And that was part of why ultimately it failed and why I had to close those doors. It wasn't until I really understood the power of not just relying on strategy, but how important it is that your business leverages your personal gifts, your unique magic. That is what creates the sustainability, not just the model itself or the kind of business that you offer or your niche or who you help, all of that is just extra. But it starts with what makes you you? What are you personally so good at that nobody else could copy, that no one else can do like you? What makes you the one? Like what makes you the one to work with, the one of one in your field? And that makes you stand out amongst everybody else that's doing similar work to you. So this is really at the core of my mission when it comes to my work as a business astrologer. There are plenty of other astrologers that you could work with that are great, that are fantastic, that are wonderful. But business owners work with me when they want to create a sustainable business that's built from their specific gifts, period. And this is why strategy alone and knowing the one, two, three steps of what it takes to create an online business just aren't enough. You can be successful with that. You can see sales, you can book clients, but will you be able to create a business that is able to last for the next three, five, 10, 30 years with just that? No. If that is your goal, if you truly want to create a business that is built to last and that is built from your unique gifts, your unique strengths, your personal blueprint. You need to infuse it with your astrological gifts and strengths. That's how you create a business that works for you. And that is how you build the foundation of an aligned business as a service provider. I have so much more to say on this, but I will leave you with that. And if you're interested in learning how to align your business, to create 
a business as a service provider that is built not just from the foundations of what it takes to create a successful business, but also how to actually connect with the astrological gifts and strengths that are in your birth chart and bring them out in your business, then I want you to keep your eyes peeled because my new program that is coming out, it's going to help you with just that. If you want to learn more about that, definitely catch the Midheaven Masterclass replay because I dive into more detail about that. But don't worry, I'll you know be bringing you all the details for my new program and upcoming episodes as well. I can't wait to see you in the masterclass and in my new program. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.